What is up guys, it is Zach and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about Mario Party Superstars for more. I know I just uploaded about Mario Party Superstars the other day, um, but I figured you guys wouldn't mind another Mario Party Superstars video. And If you like these videos, please do drop a like. It'll help the YouTube algorithm keep me in, in you know, check and make sure everyone's seeing my videos. And uh, obviously, if you are not, please do subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all my videos. And obviously, you can check out my Mario Party playlist if you've missed my Mario party videos in the past but nonetheless a viewer of mine named p mercs hopefully i pronounced that name correctly pointed something out to me in the comments of one of my recent videos basically saying that on the nintendo eShop page there's a little fine print that says uh that there will be in-game purchases available for mario party superstars and it says that on the nintendo eShop. and sure enough when i went to check the nintendo eShop, it was there it said in-game purchases will be available and obviously, you know, I posted on the community feed to hear what you guys think, um, you know, about, you know, the situation, about, you know, the text being there. And obviously, like I said in the post, obviously that's what today's video is going to be about, because I don't think it's as simple as just, boom, we're getting DLC. I'm really, really curious uh, to see what actually comes of this, but there have been times before where Nintendo will wrongly post something. Um, like, for example, uh, I remember I did a video a couple years ago, back in 2019, where I remember seeing on the Nintendo website that Luigi's Mansion 3 wasn't going to get cloud saves, but sure enough, it ended up actually getting them. And then there's a, a, another website that said Animal Crossing was getting cloud saves and it ended up not. So it's a really weird situation, and obviously, before you guys type your comments on what you think it is, I'm going to go through everything that I've heard, that I've seen, uh, based on whether or not this could actually lead to actual DLC being the, uh, the case. So, without any further ado, I'm actually going to start off by quickly mentioning uh, the first thing I did uh, when I saw this information, after posting it so that I can get your guys' opinion, was I went onto Twitter and I tagged my friend Tris from Game Explain. And basically, uh, we had a conversation just kind of talking about what the possibilities of this are, and there were a couple things that we talked about. Firstly, the big one is Nintendo Switch Online, and that's what I've seen in the community post a couple times too, where it could be, you know, because of the fact that Nintendo Switch Online is being used with this game, that means that we have to say that there's going to be purchases in there because of the fact that you can buy Nintendo Switch Online from the actual game itself. And to use this point, he used Mario Golf uh, Super Rush because of the fact that Mario Golf Super Rush doesn't have paid DLC, but you need the Nintendo Switch Online to use it. And, you know, I was like, let me look into that too. But then I pulled up a game like WarioWare uh, Get It Together, which will require, or not require, but will have online features in it. And that one doesn't have the same thing there, it does not have in-game purchases. And same with Mario Tennis Aces, you know, there's no DLC for that, you know, and there's, you know, you have online and there's no message there. So I don't know why Mario Golf is different. So this could also just mean that there's an inconsistency with how they put this fine print. Personally, I have no clue. Maybe Mario Golf Super Rush has paid DLC planned, but all we know of is free updates. So I really don't know. And like I said, Mario Golf Super Rush does not have any paid DLC. So obviously the whole Nintendo Switch Online argument, I personally don't think it's a valid argument only because of the fact that it just seems to be so inconsistent. Like Mario Tennis Aces and WarioWare Get It Together both have online functionality, but neither of them have the little title. Even Super Mario Party does not have this uh, DLC title. Though, apparently pre-ordering the game, it did. So... I don't know, this could be just something they put up with pre-orders, but then again, WarioWare Get It Together doesn't have this, so I'm just really thinking this might be an inconsistency with Nintendo. Maybe there's games that they think they might have DLC for, but they don't know yet, there's nothing confirmed, they've got nothing really going, but personally, with a game like Mario Party Superstars, I do think DLC makes sense. It's not like Super Mario Party, where they would have to go through all this work and think of more boards to create, more mini games to create. This is a game that celebrates the N64 Mario Party games. It's, you literally have, pick, you pick and choose 
whatever boards you want like it's not like they have to do much thinking when it comes to the board design because the boards are already there and of course same for the mini games so what do i personally think about this i personally think there at least should be dlc for mario party superstars and I do think that seeing this fine print makes me think that this is something that Nintendo's planning early. This is something that Nintendo might just be putting out there like, this game will have DLC, we are already planning DLC, you know? That's my personal guess, um, but the other option and the only other option is that this is just another inconsistency with the Nintendo eShop. because. No one is going to sit here and say that the Nintendo eShop is actually good. The Nintendo eShop, let's be frank, it sucks. It's so hard to navigate. It's just a really, it's a nuisance. Let's just put it that way. It's a real nuisance. And just, like I said, the inconsistencies with that fine print all across many different games just makes me feel like maybe this is just another inconsistency with the Nintendo eShop. So those are the two things that, um, the two options it comes down to in my mind, but I want to know what you guys think down below. But before we end today's video, I do want to talk about what I would personally like to see them do for DLC. Now, obviously I'm not going to say what boards I want for DLC or what mini games I want for DLC since we don't know what all the boards and mini games are. So I'm going to leave it at this. Let's just say there's no secret board and there's five boards. What I think they should do is they should have three more boards added to make a total of eight, except wait a minute, that wouldn't add up. I was thinking trying to get an even number of boards from each of the games, but if there's eight of them, then one would be one short. But I think that could be fine. Introduce three boards in three separate DLC packs. Each DLC pack contains the board and ten minigames for $10. I think that's a pretty fair price. No new characters or anything like that. I don't think they're going to do DLC characters, but I think boards and minigames are likely. So they have these three packs that are $10 each or a bundle deal for $25. That's personally what I think they should do just to give more boards to us, you know, because obviously, like I said, this is a celebration of the N64 Mario Party games. So the fact that there's only five is a real bummer so i really hope they can bump that up to eight that's not even like that's not even a really big number in terms of mario party the very first mario party game had eight boards yes none have had eight since then but i think it'd be really really cool to bring that up to as many as the first game had even if it is paid extra dlc but what do you guys think i would love to hear what you guys have to say um this is a really interesting subject just because we don't know, and obviously we won't know for a little while now if there is actually paid DLC or not. Um, I got really excited when I saw this, admittingly, um, because of the fact that it literally, I mean, that's, if, if this ends up not, if there ends up not being DLC, then that's just on Nintendo at that point, because you can't have a page and say there's additional paid content and then not have additional paid content. And it's kind of weird that I'm actually wanting additional paid content already for a game that isn't even out. But with how like lacking they are in the boards department, I got really, really excited. And it's un it, it'll be unfortunate if this ends up not being true. But what do you guys have to say? Like I said, let me know down in the comments down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All stuff down below. Click the notification bell so you're notified when I upload videos. And check out the merch store. There's some cool Zack Pack merch up on there for you to check out. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.